What's going on, people? Quick video today. I uh, yesterday late night, I was stopped at my buddy's barn, and uh, I was able to pick through and spend some money. I put a pile together, and he was like, "I was like, how much do you want for this pile?" And he was like, 200 bucks," and I did not want to pay anywhere near that. So then I said, what do you value in this pile the most? And he pulled out this GI Joe toy and he said, this is what I value the most. And I said, how much is that worth? And he said about 150 to him. And I said, uh, okay, then I'll, I'll just give you a hundred for this whole pile minus that. And he was like, deal. So uh, start off, we got this Alltech Lansing Expedition. This thing retails for $249. So we're in the money on already. Um, it didn't have a charging cable, which I have one in storage. Little cabbage patch in box. Then I always love a nice bin full of action figures. As you can see, there's value right off the jump. I mean, you got Spider Man, Ben Affleck, Batman. Some vintage toys in here, but you know, obviously, I'll go through and I'll pick them out, price them. These Five Nights at Freddy's, these are pretty popular. So if I could find a bunch of these, I'm gonna make a lot of money on those. I don't know, there's a lot in here, but um. Okay, next up, I love a bin like this. All parts phones, these are all broken, but they're for parts. But I mean, I'll still get money for these. I mean, like, look, there's a lot of iPhones in here, some retro iPhones. Oops, somebody had to go to court. <laughs> oh, and uh, yeah, so we got a bunch of broken phones. Then we got this bin of uh, toy cars whatnot it's pretty cool it's got vintage toy cars in there I'll, I'll probably pick through it and throw a few in a lot i know this is worth some money you know muppet stuff usually sells pretty well henson toy but um saw a few batman ones in there too batman's hot right now whoa what do we got here is this a furby in here and we got a furby didn't even see this in here and it's got tags. Whoa. Oh no. That's tags from something else. But anyway, there's a Furby. These are worth a lot. Wow. Love to see that. Didn't even know that was in there. Then we got this here. <clears throat> this is a box of retail boxes. Uh, a lot of Zales boxes in there. That's pretty cool. Look at this trunk full of yarn. And then we got this bin over here. All right, start off, we got this, uh, this is a lava lamp base. Hopefully you can just put a light bulb in here, but it's a limited edition lamp. That's worth some money. And then we got this bin here. This is uh, the meat of the operation, I guess. We got the Darth Vader, 1977. That's pretty cool. This guy I thought was pretty cool. I thought it was like some sort of gangster hand carved out of wood. Just a guy smoking a cigar on his way to work. A little wavy umbrella. Um, let's keep going further. This is a little pewter Washington. Uh, this is the White House there. I got another cup in a bin a while ago just like this, so now it's cool that I have a pair. These go for about 30 bucks individually, so the pair probably could fetch 50. Say hello to ET, everybody. Seriously, follow me. <laughs> anyway, um, little advertising ruler. I like stuff like this. Nice acrylic, old vintage advertising. We got three Pac-Man machines in here. These work too. Even though they look pretty beat up, they do work. Um, come a little further. This is a bank, a little cast iron. This Lego book, I thought this was pretty interesting. I usually stay away from books, but I mean, the Bible and like some stuff like this. I have a lot of Lego bins at home, so maybe this will be cool to pair with like a random bin of Legos. Dive a little further. We got four shot glasses. I thought that was pretty cool. They got pewter displays on them. They're Ireland Irish. I kind of just missed the holiday, but it is what it is. I thought this was pretty cool. A little keychain, a little lifetime policy. And then we got some books in here. Uh, we'll just run through them. We got a joke book, the Bernstein Bears, lots of Captain Underpants, two Minecraft handbooks, which I think those will go. And then, I don't know, I saw these Sports Illustrated for kids graphic novels. 
I got them out of speculation. I think there's like a potential, there could be a card in here or something. I'm not sure. We'll look into that. But, um, little keychain. A couple Schaefer pens. I don't know if you guys saw my 30 second flips, but these go for like 30, 40 bucks sometimes. Um, we got an Oakley case here. Another Five Nights at Freddy's. And then, I know you guys are like, whoa, why do you keep skipping over that, Ryan? The Trump's Castle Hotel and Casino. Now, Trump gets a lot of hate. I saw this and I was like, man, I wonder what's in here. And I opened it up and what do you know? This was just cool to see. Uh, hope you had a good time, Donald and Ivanka. But look, it's two random people just meeting Robin Williams. And I just thought this was so cool because like, you know, I love comedy, I'm a comedian and Robin Williams was a great dude. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it, man. Lots of stuff here. <laughs> I only paid a um, hundred bucks for everything too, so I'm not pissed. This this trunk is filled with yarn, which I don't know if you saw recently. I sold a lot of yarn for a good price. So, you know, you can sell yarn fast, 50 to a hundred bucks if you have a nice bundle of it. Oh, wait, there's something up front still too. anybody breaking into the car for the parts friends but uh let's go to the front all right we got two sets of dragon ball z crystals we got this top thing for your car we got this wooden box this thing's pretty cool it's made in india i thought that was pretty cool this is a quality piece and we got three baseball bats but that's going to do it for today. Remember to like and subscribe. We got tons of money coming here.